Hello there, I am No One Important, and I suppose I've decided to speed them on a uh, speedrunning Kickstarter demos for some reason. Now I know I've only speedrun two so far Blue Omen Operation, which made its new game plus uh, stretch goal, and now this Jack and Cassie, or Casey, I'm not sure which way it's pronounced. But uh, either way, I think speedrunning a number of demos is a bit out of the ordinary, so it's noteworthy either way. So Jack and Cassie, it is a fun little inventory management game where you manage an inventory to deal with a number of different enemy encounters, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and requirements. So as you can see from my timer up there, I've practiced this uh, run quite a bit. Um, so unlike with Blue Omen Operation, uh, Jack and Cassie's Kickstarter demo has concluded uh, the it, it made its goal, it made a few stretch goals, it's over, but, you know, I've been practicing a bunch, I've been having a lot of fun playing it, and I found it's a very fun speed game, so I figured I'd make a video anyways. Um, so yeah, as far as my timer goes, that time, I, I say this a lot. I say I don't expect to beat my time a lot, but I really mean it here. That's pretty much the perfect RNG I can expect up there over the course of many, many, many different runs. Um, funny story, uh, this morning that time was about a minute longer. I beat my time that I once thought was, you know, impossible to beat, perfect RNG, over the course of a practice one that was not recorded. I'm really fucking pissed about that, actually, but, uh, you know... It's fine if I end up with a bunch of red numbers up there in the end, because all that matters is the run that gets recorded, as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, I think that's everything I need to say about the game. Um, so, yeah, I am, once again, no one important, and co-commenting with me today is my friend Maxine. Maxine, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Maxine. I'm a gay dog who likes video games a lot, and that's basically all you need to know about me. Thank you for the amazing introduction, Maxine. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to start the run now. Time begins once we're off the screen and ends once we're on the final screen with uh, the timer displayed on it. So, yeah, I think I'll just begin my uh, speed run, any percent speed run, of what is basically the Kickstarter demo for Attache Case HD. So one of the nice things about this game is that I can just hold control the entire time to speed up all the dialogue and the gameplay. We gotta skip the tutorial because that's slow and just start picking up every item I can possibly need. Which includes ammo, this cooking thing, guns, melee weapons, etc, etc. Yeah, as uh, weapons are used, they're just dropped on the ground for you to pick up once again. Uh, you want to have a bunch of different weapons and guns over the course of the run to deal with the fact that different enemies have different weaknesses and requirements. You gotta stop speeding things up sometimes just to be sure you can pick everything up, but you know, as long as you don't spend too much time doing that, uh, you're still decently fast. So you're seeing me pick up a lot of shotgun rounds, that's uh, because uh, shotgun rounds, unlike other ammo, don't completely fill in a gun to full. Instead it just kind of, uh, how do I describe it? Uh, it, it just fills up one ammo in the gun when it isn't like a gun that can hold more than one bullet. So in particular there is um, one weapon that we really want to, well two weapons that we really want to find. We want to find a shotgun and we want to find a tactical knife, which is a knife with a sniper rifle scope attached to it. These are uh, enemies that are weak to shotguns as an example of kind of like elemental weaknesses so to speak. The reason that we want the uh, tactical knife is that uh, it affects enemies uh, that are both um, vulnerable to cutter melee weapons as well as enemies that are vulnerable to sniper weapons. They can pretty much get to the entirety of the first section of the game. So these gold things I'm picking up are gold components. Uh, they can be 
used in shops to just sell for money. You don't want to completely fill your inventory with them because they will need so much money and you can only sell so many things that you get in the shop, but you still want to be able to buy some things. That was a lot of combat mice. <laughs> it was, which is, it makes it good that we got the shotgun right away since it just kind of tears through them. Hey, uh, did you see what I just put in this pan? I forget. Um, no, actually I missed it. Let's hope it was a green thing. So, uh, the shop, we we kind of want that sniper rifle later in the run, but we can't really get it right now because it takes up too much inventory space. I'm just going to sell these components while I'm in the shop to, uh, you know, get some money really quickly so we can buy a better shotgun and stuff later on. Better shotgun, better machine gun. Uh, basically, the three main weapons we want for most of this is a shotgun, a tactical knife, and a good machine gun. Later, like at the end end of the run, we'll really want some nice, uh, what should we call it, um, sniper rifles and anti-material rifles. But you know, we we just can't afford the inventory space right now. Because the shotgun, as you can see, it can be kind of propped up like this upright, but. Uh, the sniper rifle has to be sideways, so you just can't afford that space. It's pretty much the only thing you can keep in the bar if you're going to have it there. These fur balls are a bit annoying. They can only really be effectively damaged by uh, melee weapons, specifically cutter weapons. But thankfully, the knife is really common. If we had the tactical knife by now, we'd be using it on them, but we don't. So. grabbing some batteries to fill up our food thing. So one of the big things about food in this game is that um, you want to combine food items to uh, cook new food. And that's good because not only it feels more health than eating the raw ingredients, which you can still do, it also increases your max health, as you can see there. Now this is a sniper weapon, and you might end up taking it in the event of an emergency, where we do not get any of those uh, tactical lines. But hopefully we will not need to do that. The, the, that's the sniper weapon? The extremely long barrel pistol? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'd love to press shift to look at the description, but sadly, speedrun. Yeah. So yeah, these wolves are a problem because they do a lot of damage. I actually just lost the run to being murdered by one. Oh, another knife. So yeah, this wolf would be weak to this gun, if mm. it would actually hit. I'm just gonna quickly pause for a second to do this. I'm just is gonna... it like... Oh, sorry. Oh no, I was just guess, is it like accuracy you're missing in this? Oh yeah, there's a lot of missing. One of the big things about um, machine guns is that they lower your chance of uh, missing for next attack, and that's also what the spotlight does, it lowers the damage dog value. Each weapon has a different kind of miss value that you have to kind of work around. Like shotguns miss very often. Mm. Okay, so we have one health right now. Uh, you can actually survive at zero health for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. But, oh. uh, yeah. Like you get to zero health, and it's almost like that's like another point of health you need to lose. I, I don't quite understand how it works. So really quickly, we're gonna make our what, a boiled or scrambled egg or whatever, or not. Um, well, we're gonna make it once we get to the next area. It's a good thing I did make it there. Otherwise, I would have just lost it once we did that transition to the next place. So you get a bit of health in between stages, but you do not refill the full health, so you want to be careful of that. This enemy is maybe the biggest pain in the ass. Uh, it has a very high dodge value, and it's easier to hit it with uh, automatic weapons, but it's not foolproof. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, Oh, thank fuck. Oh, okay. It's fine. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's the knife we desperately need. So I missed an egg there, which kind of sucks. We want to have at least one egg in the next section of the game because it's uh, used for a recipe we can make right away. So 
as far as you can tell, this game is pretty heavily RNG based. Not much I can do about that. Yeah. Like as you can see, this enemy can do one damage, or it can do like four damage, or something. Or I could just not get the snipe at all over the entire course of this run. Yeah, especially when you're speeding up uh, the timer, you have to be like really quick of putting items back into your inventory. And look, I got a second fucking knife. Ugh. It's like the game's taunting me sometimes. What is that, like, drill thing? Uh, that is an armor-piercing weapon. It is a ah. drill arm, and uh, we don't actually really use it unless we just get, like, randomly kind of lucky accidentally stumbling into it, but, uh, no. It's, it's helped a bit in some late-game emergencies when we need armor-piercing weapons. Uh, did I mention why the tactical knife is good over the course of this run? That it's both a cutter weapon and a sniper weapon in one, which is great for just a lot of enemies in this segment. I forget yeah. if I talked about that. Um, I'm honestly not sure, but that is something I, I personally was aware of. I don't know if anyone else watching this is, but, um... Yeah, it seems really... I don't know, personally I'm not good at these types of games. A lot of it, for a speedrunner at least, has just become memorization. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this enemy is weak to sniper knife. Just sniper weapons in general. So, um, it... This... This enemy here is pretty much the boss of this entire last segment of the first area, so this knife is just going to tear through all the rest of the ones we encounter over the next stage. Since the next stage is just three of those in a row. We are going to want a lot of sniper rounds because, or sniper shells, whatever, I'm not a gun person, because, or sorry, not sniper, shotgun shells, because the shotgun misses very fucking often. This is a better shotgun than this. It does about the same amount of damage, but it holds more ammo and it takes less space, which is good for reasons so I'll explain in a second. So yeah, as you can see, um, this... I can either move it here or here. The other shotgun took up the entire row. So instead of having to like manually tear it out of the inventory, every time I don't want to use my shotgun, I can just like move it downwards, which is really nice. Since it yeah, requires, awesome. yeah, it requires a lot less micromanagement. Otherwise, just like with that fluff enemy before, I'd be wasting shotgun shells whenever I don't move something back quickly enough. Instead of just like throwing a silver component or something. Yep, this is basically the army you're going to be seeing for this entire last segment of the first area. Just keep throwing the knife at them and they can't really do anything about it. Knife's damage is a bit inconsistent and low, which is why we won't be seeing it after the first area, despite it being a sniper weapon, which is really good, and especially a sniper knife, which means it uses no ammo. It, it's not useful for the other enemies that we can get sniper weapons after this, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, once we're done with this, we're just gonna let it fall out of our inventory. But we're gonna be keeping our machine gun and our shotgun. And these two are gonna be getting us through a lot of the battles in the next area. Making good time. Yeah, we are. So yeah, as you can see, shotgun shells do not completely refill the shotgun. Uh, which is why we're all carrying so many of them. How many uh, shells are in the pack? Uh, what was that? Oh, I was just asking how many like shells are in the pack of shotgun shells. Like, is it just one? It's just or? the one for each one. Oh, okay. It's like, if I completely emptied this, I'd have to, like, shove four back in there. 
Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense now. Yeah. So if you're playing this game casually, as soon as you beat this boss, if you don't want to lose the weapon you just used against it, you want to pick it up right away. Because uh, unlike with the other end of area segments, there isn't like a lull between the last battle and uh, leaving. It's it's just like right away it explodes and you're kicked to the next area. So it's very easy to lose a good weapon if you're not careful. As you can see right there. So we are going to buy fish because it can be used uh, combined with the egg for our first recipe of the new area. Put this right aside. So yeah, you just kind of want to cook everything just to get the most max health. I didn't really need to use that right there, that was an accident, but I'm still getting the max health, so it doesn't really matter too much. Especially since I feel this area is a bit easier to cook for than the last one, because it's mostly just shoving water bottles and rice together. Yeah. So yeah, the bird enemy I just fought is weak to shotgun weapons and sniper weapons. And uh, the kind of lizard enemy is weak against automatic weapons. And also this automatic weapon is just generally good against most of the enemies in this area. So we keep it as kind of our main damage dealer. Uh, this is something you can use when combined with a repair kit. It involves shoving a bunch of scrap into the repair kit and then using it up on this thing. It's a one-shot weapon, you have to repair it each time. I've never used it myself, I don't know how good it is, but especially over the course of the speedrun and because of its size, I don't find it worth keeping with me. Oh gosh, take this mushroom out because we don't really need it anymore. You know how much pistol ammo, which is a bit of a problem, but uh, I can work around that. By pistol ammo, I just mean like anything like this. This is an anti-material rifle. It is really good for the purposes of this run, but we cannot really keep it in our inventory because it's too big. That's a good pistol weapon, but we can't afford to just carry it with us. What do you have to do for these guys? Like, these guys have, like, particular vulnerability, uh, or...? Well, the bandit guy does not have any weaknesses, and the skeleton guy does have weaknesses, but they're just things we can't really consistently exploit at the moment. It's anti-armor and uh, explosives, so, like this grenade up here, which I'll explain a bit more later, and uh, things like drill or the end material rifle. Just things we can't carry with us consistently, so we just do regular damage to them with like a machine gun. Uh, those bandits kind of suck because they do a lot of damage. That's an anti material rough around. I, I think I've got to carry it with me just in case because we need a lot of them later. Uh, what was I saying again? Um, sorry, I kind of lost track too. <laughs> I'm trying- I'm trying to also watch, like, the inventory figure out what's going on. That is a huge round. Yeah, it, that is an anti-material ref around. It's, uh, yeah. it's something we'll need a lot of later in the run, but we can't really use it too much right now. Because we can't hold the gun for it, and they just take up so much room. But I'll keep one with me just in case. I'll throw it out quickly if I need to. Uh, this is a new machine gun we got. It's better than the other one I had, so... Even if it's a bit bigger, it's worth taking. Just gonna cook some food really quickly. As I mentioned before, it just steamed rice endlessly. Was that a hacksaw that passed by? Uh, a what? A hacksaw. Uh, yeah, it actually was. Uh, you can open up lock boxes in this. Um, I don't end up doing it over the course of the run. The only thing I've ever gotten from them are gold components, and those just kind of drop around randomly, so it doesn't mm. really seem worth it, you know? Yeah, especially for, like, speedrun. Like, it's, it's this whole big production. So that enemy spits fire, and that's the reason we have this fire extinguisher right here. 
you have to use it every time they do that and not just like use it like a spotlight. You have to shove it into Cassie's hands to get her to use it, which really sucks. And it especially sucks if the RNG doesn't just give you a fire extinguisher. Like there, I got caught on fire and now I'm just gonna keep taking damage. Uh, killing the enemy before, like right after that is not a good solution because you'll just keep burning until the fire goes out. Uh, yeah. So it's better to use a fire extinguisher in battle since you can't use items outside of battle. As you can see, those enemies are really weak to uh, this machine gun. Yeah. Like just shotgun machine gun tears through this whole system. Alright, so since I'm just against the skeleton, I think I'll show off the grenade. So I didn't throw the grenade, or I didn't pull the pin on the grenade there, that was not on purpose. But you know, it shows you that if you don't pull the pin, it just doesn't explode. Or the hand grenade can just miss, that happens sometimes too. Um, basically the idea is you have to manually pull the pin before she throws it. And uh, then it does a bunch of solid damage to the enemy, especially enemies that are weak to it like this. But, uh, you know, sometimes it can just go tits up. Uh, for two particular reasons. One, if you don't have the grenade at the exact first spot of your inventory, uh, it actually... The pin of the grenade is an item and it just goes right there and you throw the pin instead. And then the grenade blows up in your hands and you have to wait several turns to be able to uh, attack again. Or, I mean, manipulate your inventory. And in that time, you would lose a bunch of items that they just kind of like drop on the ground and go through the scroll bar, you know? Yeah. So grenades are good, you want to keep them with you, especially since they're one of the few things that do consistent damage to the final bosses of this area. But you also need to be really careful with them. Now, I'm not taking that anti-material rep around because I just can't afford to fill up my inventory too much with them. Like, I I think I've, I'm holding too many as is. Anytime I see a bird, I just use a shotgun right away. Like, theoretically, it might be more effective to use a shotgun on these two, but um, it's the shotgun messes often, so it's not really consistent. Mm -hmm. Uh, were those, like, beakers that passed by? Uh, were they what? Uh, beakers. Uh, or... They uh, might I have been... Another... They might have been, like, another yeah. item to burn into lockboxes. There are a lot of those, and I just don't really pay attention to them. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I'm just trying to. Oh no, I, I follow. appreciate it. There, I, I'm, I'm just saying. You mean like this? Uh, no. It was like they're like, glad like you like lined up. It looked like. I'm not quite sure who you're talking about. Huh. Well, if I see another, I'll let you know. I need to quickly. Fuck! I'm gonna lose this rice. Well, that sucks. Yeah, nothing good in the shop. I don't really need anything from shops anymore, so... I don't really have anything in the way of healing items right now, which is a bit of a major problem, but, uh, yeah. So after this, we kinda wanna get rid of our machine gun, because, uh... We don't have any more lizards to deal with. It, it can be useful because the next enemies we're gonna fight can be slightly damaged by it, but we kind of just want to get a sniper rifle in our inventory as soon as possible. So... Yeah... I, I'm gonna stop speeding things up for a little bit just to like deal with this really quickly. Like at this point, uh, the combat isn't the actual time constraint, it's just getting all this crap out of the way, you know? Yeah. So it's fine if I slow things down. 
still need the shotgun for a bit, but for now... That's where grenade looks like. It's actually being used, as you can see, it did a lot of damage, even though... Uh, this enemy is kind of strong. It's, it's fine if I accidentally don't pull the pin every time, because I'd rather just waste a turn than actually, like, lose a bunch of really important items. Like, yeah. I, I play it super safe. And that's a sniper rifle, which I got, uh, frankly, faster than I usually could have, which is good. I'm just gonna put this like this for now, because I just need to shoot this guy. We need the shotgun for a bit longer, then we can throw it away. So the uh, machine gun's a bit more ammo efficient for the purposes of this, but um, we, we don't want to clog up our inventory right now, sadly, because there are enemies just after this that have a um, sniper weakness. So, like the fact that this does damage to this enemy and is also like a weakness later on, it just makes it infinitely better and everything else. So if you see me just not pulling the pin on a grenade, even when I should, it's partially because I don't entirely know when this enemy is going to do something because I can't like afford to just sit there staring at uh, his his time bar, you know what I mean? Yeah, because if you do that then you lose time. Like, uh, I, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, like, I just have to kind of do it by feeling. Yeah. Um, the birds that spawn with these guys for next two battles are the entire reason we have the shotgun with us still. Uh, we want to kill them right away because they cover us in water, make us wet. And then this guy has an electricity attack, so you can probably imagine how those combine. Which is to say, he begins fucking us up. Yeah. So we got an anti-material rifle, which is kind of amazing, because yes. it usually takes me forever to get that. It's this enemy's weakness. And we want to make sure we don't lose it. We want to use, um, whatchamacallit, uh, spotlights to be absolutely sure the bullets hit, since those make it easier to land hits, obviously. After this next few shots of shotgun, however many it takes to hit the birds, we will finally be done with the shotgun and just get it out of here. That one hit, that's the first try, that's really good. Uh, we can replace this shitty sniper rifle with this better one, which holds more ammo, more ammo efficient. Sorry if I'm talking really quickly, by the way. It's, it's a fast game. It's alright. So we're just alternating rifles right now. I might beat my fucking time again. That would be really nice. No, no pressure or anything. I know. I just, just I... it would be like a fucked up joke on me. Yeah, I'm. I'm just kind of hoping you do because. I know you you like be a lot of personal best while not recording. Yeah. Uh, so the drill arm, remember how I mentioned it before and how it's a good uh, armor piercing weapon? But yeah. we couldn't really afford to carry it most of the time. Well, now we gotta get a chance to use it after I clear out some of these sniper rifles. Uh, so, usually in this run I would spend a lot of time uh, eating raw ingredients at this point, waiting for the red guns to spawn, because uh, you can... You can sit around just like, how do I put it, um, you can sit around just like letting your guns be used without ammo and just going back onto the thing, but whenever you do that, it, it like, how do I describe it, it like creates new space in the thing so you get new items more slowly, and if you're looking for a specific gun you want to get them more quickly. But I didn't need to do that at all, which is kind of mind-blowing. Oh fuck, I need that. 
fuck, I didn't even get like the grenade glitch thing, and I can buy rifle ammo, which I really need right now. Holy shit, this is going great. I, that's a gold split right there, obviously. I'm just kind of blown away by how well this is going. Oh yeah, there's the item. The, I'm not actually sure if they're beakers. That's what I'm calling them since they go too fast for me to really... Uh, you mean the fire extinguishers? Oh, okay, no, so that's what that is. Yeah, you you need it to stop yourself from being on fire. Okay, I couldn't really tell what it was from the, the right. No, it's fine, I understand. The art in this game's nice, but it can be a bit confusing at times when you don't know what you're looking at. Yeah. So the reason I didn't use this right away is because I did not want to waste a sniper rifle round when I could just wait for the spotlight to go off. I love these rotating rifles. Yeah, I, I'm, this is basically a way to just like get a free shot off by carrying the rifles with me. God, I didn't even have to do like much inventory management to store both the um, anti-mature rifle and the sniper rifle in my inventory at once, which usually takes like a while. Holy shit, this is going so well. Like, you can hear it in my voice, I'm fucking happy right now. Yeah. And like, there are no more surprises after this in the run, all I need is my sniper rifle. Okay, so I got a weird glitch that I would usually explain when it happened with a grenade. Um, sometimes, like, it doesn't actually count the first item in your inventory as the first item, instead it, like, jumps to one later. I don't know what causes that exactly, but it happens. Mm. Fuck, I have so much rifle ammo that I don't even have to do, like, rifle juggling anymore. So yeah, these enemies are weak to snipe rifle around. Holy shit, I might do this. Because this next enemy just takes two hits. Because it's also weak to sniper rifles. Or a three hit. That also happens sometimes since damage is inconsistent. And that is time. I I beat my time. Nice. Just gonna make sure I hit record. I hit record. Um okay. We are recording. Um so Maxine here is my fucking good luck charm of a best friend. <laughs> <sighs> uh, okay, so the game audio here is game audio there is really loud, so I'm just going to close the game. Um, I, I don't know what the deal with that is, but it's just like always really loud, so I want it to like cover my voice, especially since it's kind of chaotic. But um, yeah, what else was I going to explain that I didn't get to because that went so well? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so like uh, the big thing with grenades is that they're really good, but they're a bit of a gamble because uh, like the five seconds that uh, the grenade timer is or whatever, um, that timer continues when an enemy is attacking. So, like, if she would be about to throw a grenade and an enemy attacks, it just explodes in your hand once their attack ends. And then you can't uh, manipulate your inventory for a while, so you just end up losing your, say, anti-material rifle because it happened to me before. Mm. And as you can see, the anti-material rifle fucks things up. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Yeah, that was, when I said I got the best RNG before, that was better than anything I've ever had. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Yeah. Like, usually what happens is I just sit there eating rice off the ground like a fucking weird <laughs> dog. It's like, t no joke, two straight minutes waiting for like a sniper rifle or an anti-material rifle, but they just kind of fell into my lap. And, uh... Yeah, just what I was saying about grenades before is like the thing about grenades is that glitch that happens where like the sniper rifles first, but she grabs like rifle ammo for some reason instead. Uh, if that happens when you have a grenade that you thought was about to go off, it just explodes in your hand. Uh, one thing you can do if there's like one item in particular you really don't want to lose is click it and grab it before the grenade goes off and like 
it'll still be in your hand once you regain control again. So that stops it from like fucking off on you. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, check out uh, Jack and Cassie. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just shocked that I beat my time. You did well. <laughs> this is like the... This is like <laughs> the second time this has happened. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not important. And uh, that was a video. And it was a video. This is my friend Maxine, uh, one of my best oh. friends in the whole world. You know, I very much love and care about. And, uh, yeah, is there anything you want to say about yourself before we go? Or say about the run? Or just any kind of outro you want to do? God, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just I'm just glad to have at how well that went. I'm glad too, especially since I died to wolves in the first one. Uh, it's like you spiritually murdered me just to get me better RNG. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for summoning wolves. Thank you for summoning wolves, Maxine. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's the end of this. That's the end of this video. That was very weird. <laughs> so I don't have like the game screen up at the end like I usually do. But uh, yeah, Maxine can hear it. But uh, the ending music is uh, a bit loud. So yeah. Uh, for the record, we don't use the timer at the end of the run because I think it ignores the speed up that I do. And you know, I I feel like. It's in the spirit of speedrunning to include the speed up. So it's not like an hour long run, it's like a half hour long run, you know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Bye. Bye.